Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchar Rudeja. I am working as technical architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present the weekly contest 295. The question that I am going to solve is minimum obstacles removal to reach corner. Here in this question we are given a grid of size m cross n. The cell value can either be 0 or 1. 0 represents the cell is empty and you can free to move across that cell. 1 value represents it's an obstacle and you cannot cross this obstacle unless it is being removed. You are free to move in four directions, top, left, bottom and right and we have to identify the minimum number of obstacles needed in order to move from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Here in this example, this is a matrix that is given to us and there are multiple ways to reach this bottom value in, in the least possible way where we have to remove the minimum obstacles would be two. For example, if you go by this particular path that I am highlighting right now. Here in, on this path, you can see that there are two obstacles and these two are to be removed. And uh, the other path could be uh, this one. You can go along this path as well. So along this path too, these two obstacles are to be removed. And in case you go by any other path, for example, this one, here you will see three obstacles are to be removed, which is not the optimal one. Therefore, the answer becomes two. When you will read this question, you yourself will get the hint that it can be solved using dynamic programming approach because on read code there are two famous questions where you have to move from the top left corner to the bottom right and in all those questions we usually use dynamic programming. However, if you will code that approach up, then you will see it will fail. The reason for failure is because in dynamic programming, we never consider the case where we have to revisit the same node again once we have already identified the minimum cost to reach that particular node as a result of which that approach will not work therefore what else to think of there is only one alternative which is graph and the question itself gives you the hint that it can be solved using graphs so can you use 01 bfs search or the jigsaw algorithm the answer is yes i use these hints in order to achieve, arrive at the solution and the moment i read this hint it was pretty simple i use the same template on the Jigsaw algorithm that I have talked plenty of times in the past while solving all the questions of the Jigsaw and in case you are unaware of that template, don't worry, I have listed down all those important questions in SD division sheet of Coding Decoded. So if you are new to graphs, then this sheet is definitely gonna help you out. It's gonna be a savior for all of you because I know graph in itself is an overwhelming topic and people consider it to be the most difficult one but i'll tell you it's like mathematics there is a straight formula which gets applied to each and every question of graph so i have highlighted those questions where the jigsaw has been applied you pick any of these questions and you will understand the concept of the jigsaw fully now let's get back to the question i'm attaching the link of coding decoded graph revision sheet in the description below so do check that out whenever you have time and uh, you will yourself see for those who have been associated with the channel that this template gets applied everywhere. So learn this template by heart guys. It's going to help you in the long run. So in the first go, what do I do? We create the directions array for moving in all the four directions, top, left, bottom and right. And then we go and ahead and create a distance value that will help us identify the minimum number of obstacles that are to be needed to be removed in order to reach that x and y coordinate. So I have created two variables n and m, number of rows, number of columns. Uh, the distance gets initialized to uh, arrays.fill max value of integer. And by default, we are going to fill each and every element in my distance array to be maximum value of integer. And in case my current cost plus the grid value at next x and next y coordinate is less than the distance value that I have already calculated in the past for my next x and next y coordinate. If it is less, what do I do? I update my distance value uh, to current cost plus grid value at next x and next y and I update and add a new element into the priority queue uh, and the coordinates would be next x, next y and the distance that I have just updated. So this value represents the total number of obstacles that are to be removed for reaching the next x and next y coordinate and in case it is less than the already calculated value in the past that calls for the addition into the the re-addition into the priority queue since it is a lower value we also update the distance for next x and next y so this is the crux of the problem 
learn this template by heart and the extra would be a cake for for you once we are done we simply return whatever whatever value is stored at the bottom left corner so let's try this up accepted the time complexity of this approach is order of n cross n the space complexity is again order of n cross n because we are using the distance array with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decode